Hello, it's Shari here today, and I'm going to be making this card that uses all these colored cardstocks and some pattern paper and some embossing. So, first, what I've got here is some scraps of some cardstock. This is the Lawn Fawn Guava cardstock, and I'm going to do the same thing on all these pieces here. So, I'm going to emboss this pineapple in white embossing powder. So, I've used my powder tool to take away the static. I'm going to ink it up with the Versamark ink which is the clear sticky ink, which is great for embossing. And then I'm gonna cover it in white embossing powder. And I just keep my embossing powder in this little container here with a tiny little spoon. Once I've got it completely covered, I'll heat it up with my heat tool and melt that embossing powder so I have a nice bright white image on my colored cardstock. You could do a whole lot of these and make a whole bunch of cards and there's no coloring involved at all. It's also a great way to use up scraps. So I'm going to do the same thing on all these pieces of cardstock here. So I have the fake tan cardstock. And I'm just going to ink up that cute little pineapple. I also have the sunflower cardstock. The cilantro cardstock. And finally, the peacock cardstock. So once I have all my pineapples embossed, I'm going to use the coordinating die to just cut them all out using my die cut machine just like that. So now that I have them all cut out, I'm going to make my background. I'm going to use that purple plaid from the Perfectly Plaid Rainbow Collection and I'm using the largest outside in stitched rectangle stackable. And I'm using the purple because I want it to be very rainbow and purple is the one color I didn't use for my pineapples because I wanted an odd number of pineapples so that that yellow one is going to end up straight up and down right in the center because we're going to put a little face on that guy. So I'm also going to use the Scripty Aloha for my sentiment. And I've just cut that out of black cardstock. I can't stop using this Aloha sentiment with these pineapples. It's just too perfect. So now I'm going to stamp out the sunglasses and I'm using some Bursa Fine ink. It just happened to be what was closest but you could also use any black ink. And I'm stamping that out on just a little scrap of paper that I had and I'm going to use the coordinating dies to cut the sunglasses out. Those sunglasses are going to go on to that yellow pineapple in the center. I'm just going to hold that in place with some post-it note tape while I run it through the die cut machine. So here are my little sunglasses. And then I also want to give this little pineapple a face. So I'm going to use one of the little faces that comes in this mini set. And I'm just going to stamp it to where the eyes would be behind the sunglasses. So really all you're going to see is the smile. And it's really easy to line up this little face in those diagonal squares of the pineapple image. So I'm going to glue down my sunglasses using some liquid glue. And I'm using my tweezers to help me hold it so that I don't make a mess everywhere and I can easily place them onto my pineapple. So now that I have all my pieces prepared and ready, I can start to assemble my card. And I am using the Tombow Extreme Adhesive. I really like this stuff because it really holds very well. And I like to use it a lot when I'm covering a card base with a large piece of paper. So I'm just going to center that up so that I've got a nice white mat around it. And I'm going to start with my center pineapple so that I get the placement right. 
I'm just going to put glue down the center of it. I'm not going to completely cover it because the other ones are going to get tucked behind it. So I don't want to glue it down on the edges just yet. So I'm centering that up in the middle right where I want it. And now I can do the same thing with my other pineapples going out from the center. And I'm just going to do the same thing and only put the glue in the middle. These are going to lay pretty flat anyways. But this allows me to tuck the next pineapple behind it without worrying about getting in the glue. And I really love the rainbow colors on that purple background. It's very happy and bright. Once I've got all those in place, I actually laid a clear block on them and let them dry just a little bit so that they're nice and stuck down. And now I'm using some matte multi-medium with a very fine tip to add some adhesive to the back of my sentiment die cut. I'm going to use my tweezers to place that as well just so that I don't get any of the glue on my fingers. And I'll lay an acrylic block on that to keep it flat and let it dry a little bit as well. To finish off, I wanted to add some clear sequins. I like this lately because it adds some shine without adding too much distracting colors or embellishments. So I've got some pretty pink posh sequins in some different sizes here and I'm just kind of laying them out where I want them to be. And once I've got them in place, I'll use that multi-medium and matte to adhere them down. And finally, I'm just going to go in with the Clear Overlay Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen and add a layer of clear glitter onto my sentiment so it's got some shine and kind of stands out a little bit more from the background. But it's still very subtle. And now my card is finished. And when you get it in the light, you can really see the shimmer on that sentiment. Here's a closer look at that card. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.